What's going on YouTube? Um, it's my weekly haul video. Uh, I got a lot to show. Uh, so I'm going to show the new books I picked up this week. You know, my uh, pool list and also just my the, some books I picked up from my local. And I got some... I got uh, st one statue in the mail uh, from Sideshow uh, that I had pre-ordered. So I got that. And I also got some stuff from Jimmy C. So, I'm going to start with the new books. These are nothing that big of a deal. Anyway, let me start with this one because it's just so big. Uh, I'll get it out of the way. Uh, it's the uh, Walking Dead. I'm not going to move a camera, but it's the Artist Proof Edition. I guess this is from what I was told. This is how the artist would have seen the book or drawn the book or whatever in this size. Um, but you know it's no big deal. I just picked it up. There's a uh, twenty bucks, so minus my it was like uh, eighteen bucks I got it for. So why not? I don't know what I want to do with it. I don't know where I want to put it, but it'll probably go up there with my poster collection one. But uh, yeah, here goes the new books. Uh, got the uh, Batman Arkham Knight Genesis, um, and I also th th that's the variant cover, the Jim Lee variant cover, and I also got the. The regular, I think that's Jim Lee. I'm pretty sure it is. And I got the regular cover there. Um, here, let me try to get on this side. I got the light on that side. Uh, and I got the new East to West. I haven't read any of these books. I just picked them up. And, you know, I'm, you guys are probably surprised I haven't read any of them yet, huh? <laughs> so, uh, I, am, I am caught up on my East to West, so I'm just going to have to read that book. I don't have any back issues to read or anything, so. I got the new Aquaman. I am missing the bombshell variant. I have didn't realize I was missing. I wanted to try to get my local to get it. Um, this is one of the series I'm completest with the Aquaman stuff, so I'm trying to get every one. Um, got the new low, number nine. I haven't behind on that, but I do like the series. Rasputin, one. The series is pretty cool, and I also love the artwork on this, so I picked this one up. Um, this is one of the books I read. I am caught up on this one. This is number four. Um, I haven't read this one, obviously, but. Uh, awesome series really like this stuff um i'm still not completely sure what's going on but you know it's a i definitely pick it up it's a good read uh Chris flight club 2 um just picking that up i'm not even really reading it I, I to be honest with that i don't know why i'm picking them up i probably won't pick it up anymore um i actually decided not to pick up the uh um escape from new york ones um, I, I grabbed it and I realized it was four dollars and a three ninety nine cover price and I just you know I just put it back. I, I'm not even gonna pick it up anymore. Uh, spread number nine, you know if I decide to go back and and and, and read it, you know, uh, start reading it again, I'll uh, I'll go back and pick it out the dollar bins probably. So this is number nine, spread, awesome series, love that series. Uh, just so sporadic the way they come out. Um, of course the Harley Quinn. 19 and I love the bombshell variant cover um, that is so awesome um, I don't know who did the cover uh, but whatever and then I got the uh, Deadpool Secret Wars Secret Secret Wars and I didn't get the variant cover they didn't have it so and I got one more I got this this is Archie this is the DC or uh, Dynamic Forces uh, cover um, I got it just because it has a little Boston Terrier on there, and I have Boston Terrier, so that's the only reason I got it. <laughs> you know, it was ten bucks, nine bucks. But uh, yeah, that's all the new books I got. Not too many of them, huh? But they did get a new collection in. Or actually, no, that's not even true. Uh, my local got a. They went down in their basement of one of their stores, and they pulled a bunch of boxes out, and they found a bunch of stuff. But uh, I'll get to that. Um, First, I'm going to show. Yeah, I'll, no, I'll show them now. Uh, this is some of the stuff they pulled out of a, a collection they just got. Um, and I got these actually for free, and I'll tell you why at the end. Um, I'm not sure the one book I paid. I bought one book, and I got these for free. They just gave them to me. But uh, I'm trying to complete my Elementals. So I'm from Kimiko. Uh, this is just the Elementals. Sex Special 2 and number 3. This is from volume 2 of that. Um, 
This is Elemental Special number two. I have number one already, so fortunately this one's got a chip out of the cover, but you know. Then I completed my run of volume one of the Elementals. I got number four, which I needed. I don't have these bags yet. They don't fit in common size, or I mean uh, modern size bags. Uh, or last one's too tight. Um, then I got number six. Uh, number 13. Number 14, and I swear I had that one, but I guess I didn't. Number 16. Number 17. Number 18. I guess I can just leave these like this. Number 21. 22. I thought I had a lot of them. Well, I guess I didn't. 23. I think I have later volumes also. That's probably why I thought I have more than I did. 26, 27, 28, and 29. That's the last one of volume two. So I complete, I complete the set of volume two. So that's pretty cool. Um, and you know what? I'm going to show these now, I guess. I got these from my local. This is stuff they found in their basement. They pulled a box up. Uh, I think this is stuff they found in their basement. I'm pretty sure it is. Um, hmm. Yeah, I think it is. Uh, so I, I just grabbed some stuff that I didn't have. These were all cover price. Um, Crypt of Dawn. This is number four of that. So I got that one. I didn't have it. And I got number three. And a cover price. A really nice condition, too. Then I got a couple of the sketchbooks. Um, I got Dawn Convention Sketch number uh, 2003 and 2004 and 2005 this is just the regular the regular uh, ones there's a variant ones um, limited edition ones or whatever which obviously these aren't it um, but yeah so they're just obviously they're just sketchbooks so I'll show a little bit of what they are you know it's no big deal I just didn't have them and I like Linzer so I pick up everything I see that I don't have um, believe me, the, the video's going to be worth it. There's some good books at the end, really good. But I mean, I, I, I like these books, but I'm not sure if everyone's in the dawn. Um, then I got good books are starting now. Good books. Uh, I got this. Well, this is a pretty cool book for me. This is a dollar. <laughs> this is Marvel Super Special number one, and, that, and it's it's ratty. The spine, the cover, just almost is, is starting to fall off. But I just wanted it for a dollar. But I did get this. Um, this is the Inhumans graphic novel. Um, I, I got to put it in the bag. I got to find my magazine size bag. So, but uh, this is a little bit. This is one of the ones they found in the basement. Um, and I'm kind of disappointed what I paid for now. I never really think about it, but. Uh, they wanted they got fifth they wanted fifteen for it and I got it for my ten percent off uh, uh, whatever it was thirteen fifty um, but it's kind of wrinkly like like it's been some damage and it even has a little musty smell to it but I don't know it's okay I guess you know I'm, I got it so I want to get that one they have the uh, the Shambhala one um, with a uh, Doctor Strange, they wanted fifty dollars for one. I told them put it back. I don't want it. I ain't paying that much money for that book, especially in the condition they had it in. No, no way. But I got these. Um, these were. Let me see. I paid one twenty, about twenty five dollars for all these. I think. Um, yeah, but twenty five to thirty dollars around there. I don't remember exactly how much I paid for each. That's 170 of Daredevil. Then I got 171 and 172. So it's pretty cool. Um, I got uh, the whole little Kingpin thing there run. I think this is like the first introduction of uh, Kingpin and something like that. And the first fight with Kingpin or something. I can't remember. Something like that. But then I also got this. This one I got for... 90 100 yeah 90 I got this for 90 I got this is my second copy 
this is actually I think a little bit nice this is actually definitely nicer than what I have I got at the Boston Comic Con this one's uh, definitely in a higher grade um, very fine plus if not near minus grade so go ahead and show a little bit off it so for 90 bucks I think that I jumped at it when I I pulled these out of the box yesterday I was going through and they had to price them they hadn't priced anything yet so the corners a little bit I still say very fine plus it could be be near mint minus um pretty I think that's still pretty tight I'm talking about that little corner there I don't know looks pretty good to me though but yeah it's definitely nicer than the one I have which I paid more I think I paid 110 for that one so I got two of them now pretty cool um and I got one more book uh which I am so so happy to have this book um uh <laughs> i just never thought i would find one i think uh, it's a uh, um bmprt uh i can't i don't know how he pronounces that BMP, BMPR, uh, ROT. um uh he has one of these but i think he has a firestorm one um i have this i got this one a justice league number three this is the uh Superman comics logo one. It's the trial one. I guess there's only two books they did it in I think it was the firestorm one and then this one I'm not sure. I'm pretty sure that's only two books. They did it in I paid at my local. I paid uh, 2250 for it So I think that was a pretty good deal um, for something so rare, you know, not too many of them Now I want to show the stuff I got from Jimmy C first before I show my last big book and my statue uh, I did get a really big book this week. Um, I showed it on my Facebook page. If anyone's friends with me on Facebook, they'll know what it is. Um, but I'll show the books I got from Jimmy. The stuff I got from Jimmy C. These books were just free. He threw in. Um, so I'm just going to show these real quick. They're no big deal. Um, this is Lois Lane 102. Like I said, these are just freebies. He just threw in. And 103. I haven't rebagged them yet. Uh, this is uh, Challengers of the Unknown 75. This is some cool Silver Age stuff. Um, Unexpected 91. I think this is pretty cool. I like stuff like this. This is like a 65 from 1965. Um, this is a cool early action comics 320. I think this is like 65 or 63, something like that. I looked it up. And then this is a um, Mighty Thor 340. I'm not sure there's any significance to this book itself. But I know it's signed by Walt Simonson, and it has a signature there, and I thought I recognized the signature until I saw the back. It says uh, signed by Walt Simonson, so that's pretty cool. They were freebies, <laughs> if you can really call it freebie, but, um, but I did buy other stuff off them. I bought some sketch work, uh, artwork off them, um, and you guys know I'm a Nick Cardi fan. He had some Nick Cardi stuff. I finally got him to sell it to me. So this one here is a Black Canary. I don't have it in anything right now so I don't have anything that will fit this right now I think maybe my magazine size ones will fit but I'm going to grab the boards but I do have an, an or portfolio binder thing I'm going to put it in that's uh, Nick Cardi this is a uh, original black canary pencil done in 05 and we'll see I'm going to Nick Cardi it's pretty cool not really I wanted it he just threw this in but um This is the next one. This is the one he thought was the best one. I don't know. I, I, I think it's pretty cool, but it's not my favorite one I got. This is the uh, Teen Titans um, title page. Like a, what do you call it? Like a, uh, uh, you know, just, just he sketched it out just to get an idea. He put title up there. And kind of like original, but it's pretty cool. It's a Teen Titans then, you know, I'm definitely a Teen Titans fan from uh, the Nick Hardy run, too, you know, um, especially. Uh, it's very, very cool. Um, so I'm happy to have that. This is probably my favorite one, I think, um, from the set I got from him. Um, this is the the Wonder Girl. Uh, sketch is done by Nick Hardy in 04. It's like a very, very cool sketch. I'm going to have this one framed, I think. Um, I'm going to put it up. Uh, I'm going to put it up next to my... 
I'm gonna hang it up next to my Aquaman uh, <laughs> someday, you know, so I think it'll go really well with that. But yeah, so yeah, I got that. Um, and that's what I got from, I'm not even gonna bother, I'm not gonna tell you how much I paid. I paid quite a bit, but it was worth it, I think, you know, just get some original, some more original art from Nick Hardy. And, you know what, I'm gonna start a statue first. I got one more book, um, it's the big book. Um, I'm going to start a statue first. Uh, I got a new statue from Sideshow Collectibles. Um, I think the best way to show is just to show it on my desk. So let me put the light around. Don't mind the mess. Again. Um, but it's the Batgirl. The new Batgirl just came out. Um, the premium edition, whatever you call it. Um, it's very, very cool. Uh, you can model the cape and however you want. Um, I wish I had one of those turntable things that spin around the Lazy Susans that can do a uh, spin. I haven't really taken a good look at it. The only thing I don't like is the way the cape is attached. It's just the head and you stuff the cape down around it. So I'm always worried when I move the head's going to fall off and break. You know, if I move the cape. But it's very cool. Let me see if I can turn it around a little bit. Um, it's an awesome sculpt. It's just, this is by Art Germ, the sculpt actually. Um, or it's sculpted after Art Germ's thing. You can buy a fine art print. They won't like, <laughs> without the frame, it's like $90 for the art print. Um, uh, I'm not sure a little buttage going on, but. Um, <laughs> But uh, with the uh, frame, it's like 300 bucks or something. I'm not going to do that. I think it would be cool to put the from art the artwork up with this in front of it. But that's just too much money, I think, for that, for print. Yeah, so that's what I got. Now for the last book. And guys, I paid a significant amount of money for this. <laughs> um, this is not something that I ever thought about buying or anything like that but when I saw it I just know how rare rare it is and I had to get it so I think uh, Comic Hunter might like this one um, he likes the rare books too um, so we'll see let me know what you guys think Ready? to Love and Rockets first print um, the self-published one um, and the cool thing about this this is in fairly nice condition um, the cool thing about this is that there's only 800 of these that were self-published, I believe, when I read, and only a few of them actually had the stamp on the inside, which I got right there. So this is even rarer with the stamp. Not everyone had that. Uh, and then it's also signed by, uh, oh, what's his name? This is Gilbert Hernandez. This, this was done by the Hernandez brothers. This is Gilbert Hernandez who did the, the, that's him right there and he signed that page. And then also, um, there's another signature too. I read this. Oh, there it is. Um, yeah, and then this is signed by Jamie. Hernandez in 85 down there, which he did this mechanics a little racy there um, This is like the first appearance of whoever Maggie. I never read this series or anything. I read this book, but it's uh It's crazy. I don't know. Only thing is this is like a printing error or something it has a big ink spot right there uh, Which I didn't realize but you know, I think it's just part of the printing process like I say it was self-published so and then on the back cover, it's signed by Beto85 and then Jamie Hernandez. Uh, I don't know who Beto is. I think it may be, there were some, I don't know who Beto is, whatever that is. Um, I know there's another brother, Mario. I don't know if that's supposed to be him or not or what, but whoever Beto is. I know there were some other names in here of artists, of uh, people who wrote the stories. So maybe it's one of them. But yeah, 
so yeah i got my uh first print let's just say i paid up quite a bit of money for it uh not as much as they're going for the i i see one for sale right now it's not as much as that one um i just say if you can find that one online i paid about less than half of what that that one's selling for and this is in probably close to that condition i think that one's a 9.0 something like that maybe it's a 9.4 but this is probably 8.5 easy and maybe even a little bit higher uh so yeah but the only reason i'm not going to get a grade it is because cgc is only one that does the magazine size books and they don't do the signature verification so i'm going to wait till cbcs gets the uh their mold for the magazine size comics and i'm going to get graded by them hopefully but yeah that's the rare book that's probably one of the rarest books i have right now um yeah so um i hope you guys like it and oh a little update on my contest i got a lot of contest entries um i'm trying to, i'm having a hard time keep up with keeping up with them um so we're going in a list of the people who i've seen their subscription or seen their videos for and if, if you're not on this list just leave me a comment on this video if you made a video and let me know so i um so i can watch your video but i've gotten tim morant tumua manny nyc jimmy c Joe Hawk, Four Way Flashers on Comics, uh, 74 Screw Gun, Clutter Stuff, Adam Day, Jared Osborne, and Got It Need It Comics. Um, and there was another one I saw. Uh, oh my gosh, there was another one I saw too. I can't remember. I just saw it today. I, I didn't write it down. Um, but yeah, if you're not on that list, let me know um, if you made a video. And I'll. Uh, so on the first, I can do the drawing and pick out the winners but yeah i want to thank all you guys for making the videos uh you guys have been awesome i've actually gotten a lot more subscribers now i think i'm over over 310 now something like that but uh yeah it's pretty cool um but yeah thanks guys for watching i'll check you out guys uh, i'll see you guys later bye